Okay, we're just about ready to install a mag lock, and there's a couple of parts uh, that we have to take a look at. Uh, the very first thing is, in any uh, situation that you get, there's going to be the door um, unit. This door, this will get screwed onto the door. It has two pins in the back. Sometimes you have to push them already in, sometimes they come already installed, but you got to push them in so that when it's sitting on the door, it's not going to be moving back and forth. It will also have a nut that goes in with rubber washers um, to help hold it in, uh, but also give it the ability to move. And then this unit here will be on the outside of the door holding it. Now, these mag locks will come in two different voltages. They can work on 12 volt or they can work on 24 volts. So you need to know what your voltage of your door access system is. We're working on a 12 volt, which is normally the voltage. So when you look at the control board on the magnetic thing, there's usually jumpers or there might be switches. This one has jumpers. Right on the back of the cover of the unit is usually the key on what is 12 volts, what is 24. For this one, for the 24 volts, P P1 is jumpered and P2 is jumpered. For 24 volts, you would have a jumper between P1 and P2, where you're only using uh, one of them. You will also have where the power is going to be uh, set on. There'll be a negative and a positive side. That's very important. Make sure you keep your polarity uh, correct uh, on there. Then for the door, door magnet side, you're going to have a sill plate. Uh, you can also have, uh, sometimes have to use brackets. Uh, the brackets will uh, L-shape it out um, or it will work through. On the actual mag lock itself, it will have a hole where the wire can go through. So when this is mounted up on the door, uh, the wire will go through, through the uh, plate and it will also go through the uh, frame of the door. Also, with the instructions, is usually a template, a paper uh, template to tell you exactly where to drill. A couple of uh, spots are very important. When you're first installing it, you only want to install the screws in these two positions. These are the adjustment head plate mounting holes. That means we can move it up or down. Once we get it in the final locked in spot, we're gonna put other screws in to hold it steady on there. And this just slides on to the unit. And then underneath is, is a hex Allen key that you're gonna to use to screw this whole thing in um, on there. So let me uh, show you the door that we've already uh, kind of put the template up. So we have a template like this. So what we've done with the door now is the very first thing I'm gonna put in is my sill plate um, on here. On this particular door, we had to take the door frame off at the very top because it did not give me enough room to have the magnet on the door without building out the mat, uh, without building out the plate. So we're gonna put it in here, but then we're gonna modify the uh, rest of the top sill. You notice that I've already ran a wire down in um, I had already looked at it and I've already marked the, um, the, the spots up on the door. So the next st step we're going to be doing in a moment or so is drilling out two small holes so that we can put the uh, uh, plate in up on the door.